my name's Sam, I'm from Adreno, Sydney. Uh, in this video I want to talk to you guys about some of the difference between the float lines that are available on the market today. So over here we've just got your pretty entry level, it's like a, a ski rope material. Um, ski rope's quite good because it's really durable, really good with UV, it's not going to punch you on rocks or oysters, anything like that. So it's going to last a long time, it's cheap, yeah, it's quite easy to splice and get a really good strong hold on. Some of the disadvantages with ski rope would be it's slightly more tangly than some of the other float lines, a little bit more prone to catching on the rocks. And the other issue with this sort of rope is when you're down on a dive, this rope has less buoyancy. So it's not going to come back to the surface as quick, which gives more time to tangle around weed and rocks. This next one here from Ocean Hunter. Again, this is like a ski rope style, but this one's actually foam filled. So it has all the same advantages of the first one, except this one floats much quicker. So again, less time on the bottom, less time to get tangled around rocks and weed. Uh, the next style we've got is the PVC style. These are pretty common. Um, all good PVC float lines should be cored with Dyneema. So this one's actually cored with 300 kilo Dyneema. Benefit of these is, as you can see, they're a little bit stiffer, so a little less um, prone to tangling, which is a great thing when you're out in the water, especially if you go for longer float lines. So anything over 20 meters, you generally want to stay away from the ski rope and go something like this. Again, this one's rigged with a speed spike on one end and a shark clip on the other end. Disadvantage of this type of float line is that after a while, it can wear through and once there is a hole in it, Will, can fill with water and sink. Uh, the other potential hazard is like sharp fish teeth can bite through so you can be careful with what type of fish you actually string on this float line. Moving on from that one we've got rife version of PVC float line yeah, very similar difference being this one's just got heavy duty shark clip each end this one's more designed to go between a breakaway setup on a spear gun and one of the larger like Rife floats or a dive aisle float. Moving on from that one, we have the Rife, the bungee style float lines. This is designed for larger fish, so anything 30 kilos and upwards. And this is designed to stretch out, which reduces some of the pressure on your rig and stops the fish tearing off. So this is great for blue water hunting. Um, and in the longer ones, not such a good thing to use on something like dog tooth tuna because it actually allows the fish to get to the reef. Once they get to the reef, they're more likely to break you off or get eaten by sharks. So better for yellowfin, bluefin tuna or billfish really. And that's pretty much it for float lines. So thanks for joining us today. Um, come into the store in Sydney. We've got all of this available all the time, same as Brisbane. Or you can check us out online at www.spearfishing.com.au. Thanks for watching this episode of Adreno's How-To Videos. If you'd like to view more videos, just click here. And please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel by simply clicking on the subscribe button here. To purchase these products, stop in at one of our store locations in Brisbane or Sydney or visit us online at spearfishing.com.au.